What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai Sending One here bringing you another video. Uh, this is a video talking about something that uh, is big news. So, uh, many people know of the convention known as, uh, or expo known as, you know, E3. Now, E3 is obviously a gaming expo, it's a big deal. It's been around now 20 years, which is a crazy thought because. E3 is just so awesome, and it's just so hard to believe that it's been around for 20 years. I, I still I still find that crazy because prior to this, there were so many other um, gaming expos, but this was really where things changed in regard to how uh, gaming news was presented, whether it be uh, computer gaming or console gaming, or um, even now, uh, you know, mobile gaming. Um, so. Uh, recently, Nintendo announced their plans for the Expo in regard to uh, what things will be done. And apparently, we're going to be getting a 2015 version of the Nintendo World Championship, which was something that happened back in 1990, which was a huge deal. And uh, cartridges were given out to the uh, winners, to the winner, which, which was a limited edition special cartridge. Um, and then there were ones for like the, uh, the the lower place values, which were given out to everyone, given out to several people, and those go for a lot. But if you get either one of them, I mean, it's a big deal because like it's like the, the I believe it was like the twenty finalist ha have them, and then there's like one that's like one or two that there's one for like the winner overall. So you know it's a big deal, and if we have a modern one, I mean that's a huge deal, and I'm sure. It's going to be very fun to, to see. Uh, apparently, I believe Best Buy on May 30th is going to uh, actually, s the way that they're going to do this uh, competition, the way that they're going to start it is that at s certain Best Buys, there will be um, a competition going on at them where you'll be able to play uh, play the game and if you are the winner, you will get to be flown out to LA and get to participate in the competition if you are in the if you are one of the leading people who um, who played ar around the country or whatever, and it's gonna be a, it's supposed to be a big deal, which should be awesome, and it's a really smart way to re to work it out so that people can can get into this competition so it doesn't feel unfair. It, it feels reasonable. Um, another thing is um, last year we had um, Smash as a demo available to us. Like, more like a one a few time like one or two time play at Best Buy last year after E3. This time Mario Maker is available after E3 at select Best Buys. So that's going to be fun. Um, it's a bit unusual I would say because I remember last year Mario Maker was being announced at E3 and now it's going to be after E3 of this year and we're going to get the we're gonna to get to play Mario Maker, which is just kind of weird because it's sort of like, okay, we already, like, we just had, last year, they, they told us about this, and now, there's gonna be another E3 in between when we were able to even start to play it, which is just kind of weird. It's just like, I, I, I mean, that, that's just the connection. I get it, it takes a while to make games, but it's just kind of weird to think that in a way. But, um, you know, it's gonna be very cool. Uh, they're gonna have a, di they're gonna have some digital events. Uh, they're gonna have the Treehouse again. I love the Treehouse last year. Last year's Treehouse was very fun to watch. Uh, you know, following them on Twitch was excellent. Really, really enjoyable. Um, just uh, really, really fun stuff to, to watch. I mean, E3 is awesome, uh, whether it be Nintendo E3 material or whether it be uh, PlayStation stuff. Though usually for me personally and for a number of people in the community, um, definitely Nintendo is a, bi uh, um, a big uh, focus. I mean, Nintendo does some stuff that their companies just don't do, and I, I, that's why I just always love Nintendo when it comes to E3, because Nintendo goes all out in regard to doing all the cinematic stuff and making it really hyped and all that, while the other companies, I mean, they do stuff, but it's not to the same extent, and it's more like, oh, it's just another, it's just another event where we can uh, promote other games, which is not a bad thing, but at the same time, it's a it feels like Nintendo's trying harder to really make it a bigger deal while the other companies really don't try uh, don't try but I'm not saying that that is something that they don't want to it's just that 
doesn't seem like the, the, that's their first instinct. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but personally, Nintendo seems to always be going all out when it comes to these competitions. And personally, it's just so much fun. And I think that uh, the way that Nintendo really markets themselves when it, uh, during the uh, um, during E3 is just excellent. And I think that it's something that a lot of companies should really um, consider in regards. You know, I mean, Sony and uh, you know Xbox. The uh, you know Sony and Microsoft. These two companies have two other major franchises, uh, or two other major companies, and yet they don't do any of that really. And if they took advantage of this of this community and tried to make it interesting, tried to create humor, tried to develop a personality for themselves, it's gonna help them. I mean, sure, Nintendo isn't the same as it once was, and Nintendo is trying now with that theme park that's coming out for Universal. Maybe you guys have seen my pre uh, another video of mine that that talked about that. Um, I mean. These kind of, I mean, just in general, these kinds of things are just, uh, Nintendo's trying really hard, while these other companies are kind of just, I'm not saying that they're not doing anything, but at the same time, it's not to the same extent, and like, when, when, pe when people think of Nintendo, one of the people that, that people think of is like Reggie uh, Filme, or... Uh, you know, Iwata or, you know, Miyamoto or any of those people. But people don't necessarily always think about, you know, Sony people. They really don't. Xbox, barely. I mean, these companies are kind of hush-hush in a way and it's just like, we'll release our games and, and we'll just be happy with releasing our games while they don't really go into much t conversation, which is why I feel Nintendo is a fun company, personally. I think a lot of people really appreciate what Nintendo does. Sure, Nintendo's uh, graphical capabilities may not be as good as as, as like Sony's capabilities have been, but if you talk about the community, if you look at the community and how they really go out with all their products, it's really amazing, and I really appreciate Nintendo overall, and that's why I personally am a huge Nintendo fan. I, I think that Nintendo really has done a lot for the gaming industry, and I mean, it saved gaming in, in reality. Nintendo is the reason why is part of the reason why we have video games today. Which if we didn't have video games today, we probably wouldn't have mobile games. We probably wouldn't have computer games. No, I am not joking. That's all true. We probably wouldn't, or we would have something similar, but not what we have today. Which takes a lot of inspiration from a lot of games that that, that have occurred on Nintendo consoles. And thank you, Nintendo, for that. <laughs> I'm just saying because this is. E3 is something that is just always so fun, so exciting. I mean, I've been I I I've constantly watched E3 for years now, and I've wanted to go in the past. I've considered it in the past. I can't go this year, but I might go in the future. And um, I just in general, it's just really, it's just really exciting seeing all these games that are coming out, all these exciting franchises. I mean, it's fun. It's really fun, and I'm just I'm. I all, I'm always a, a huge supporter of Nintendo in every way. When people disre disrespect Nintendo, it's like you're just disrespecting me. I, I just defend Nintendo all the way. If anyone's curious, yes, I am pro Nintendo completely. I am not. I, I, believe me when I say this. I, sure, I appreciate uh, Sony. Um, I appreciate Xbox, uh, Microsoft to an extent, but Nintendo is. Nintendo is where it's at for me. And you may be wondering why, why I say I, I appreciate Xbox to an extent. Personally, Xbox is my, is my, I mean, Microsoft is my least, Microsoft slash Xbox is the, the one company I'm the least interested in out of all three of them. And it's something that has kind of been a thing for these companies is that Xbox is kind of, per, I mean, this is my opinion. So uh, if you guys understand this now, I'm, I might say something that's, that might offend someone, but just understand this. Personally, this is my opinion, I don't, a lot of people that I know, and myself, aren't big fans of Xbox, and a lot of games that Xbox has, I mean, PlayStation has, which is why PlayStation is usually my, it, it, like if I were to, to, to talk about gaming companies, I would put Nintendo top, um, uh, so, um, Sony middle, and then I'd always put Xbox um, at the bottom because of the fact that PlayStation has so many games that are like most of the time the games are better on the PlayStation than on the Xbox and the Xbox games resemble like they're a lot of times they're the same and if you 
it's like they're really just matching one another. It's sort of like, what's the point of getting this if I could have this? I, I get it that there are certain games that are limited to certain consoles, and I mean, a lot of the sporting games are better on like Xbox, for example, which I get. I, I completely understand that. And there's certain games that are definitely specifically good for Xbox, but that's just only so many games, and that's just my opinion. Understand this. I just wanted to go over this, explain my thoughts. Overall, though, I think that, that this E3 is going to be awesome with the, with, um, with the World Championship stuff, um, just with all the events for Nintendo. It's going to be really fun. Um, I mean, I'm just excited. I'm a huge Nintendo fan, and I think that this could be really, really interesting, and I'm really ha excited to see that it's coming back. I mean, there's been a 25-year period in between, which um, is a good time to bring it back. So 25 years later, okay, cool. That works. I mean, it, believe me, if they brought it back last year, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. But it's 25 years later, cool. That's very... I mean, it would have been a big deal last year, but it would, but it, it makes more sense. 25 years later, okay, well, now we're going to do this again. And who knows? Maybe they'll do it in another 25 years afterwards. Or they'll do it regularly or in the next 10 years or something like that. We'll see what happens. I personally could see them doing the 25-year thing. Maybe they'll do it in smaller increments in the future, or they, this might be it. If it is, hopefully it's really good. If it isn't, then I can't. Then hopefully this one's really good, and I can't wait for the next one. So anyway, guys, again, this has been Crazy Samurai. To anyone here, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video, whatever that will be. And remember, guys, stay awesome.